Hey, welcome back, everyone. More Age of Empires here for you. We're here on Dry Arabia. That's the map. I'm playing as the Abbasid Dynasty, and we are up against a Rus player by the name of Lucid Villain. Now, when you're up against the Rus, you're definitely going to want to hunt all the animals on the map. So that's why I'm shooting down all these deer right away. And I'm actually making a second stout, uh, scout pretty early. I want to gather up sheep, and I want to hunt all these deer. Any sheep I grab is good. Any deer I kill is good. Any wolf I kill is good, because uh, we're going to be denying our opponent that gold bounty that they'd receive killing these animals. We're going to do our pretty standard opener, but we're going to do uh, our camel archer rush. So we're going to get down a... Uh, archery range pretty quick once we make it to the next age and then we'll see what we what, what kind of harassment we can do with a scout camel archer and maybe a regular archer as well when you're up against the ruse you should expect a lot of archers the reason for this is the ruse can build these wooden fortresses near their uh, lumber camps and when they do that they receive bonus wood whenever they gather it. So with all that extra wood, it's very easy to make a powerful unit like an archer. You can just spam those things. You'll, you, as a roost player, you'll end up with just a huge army of uh, archers. With that in mind, I'm probably gonna get a stables and I'm probably gonna focus on my own archer production and mixing in horsemen when I can. The real danger is when uh, my opponent starts to mix in spearmen of his own. Those spearmen will uh, pretty much take care of my horsemen. So I really want to be really want to be on top of an anti-archer army. That's what I need to focus on. So here we are. We're about to age up. We're getting our economic upgrades like the fresh foodstuffs and wheelbarrow. In fact, wheelbarrow is already halfway done. I'd like to see myself get that archery range down. Looks like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop the archery range. We're gonna rally it. And it's a little dangerous to do this early uh, camel archer play. Oh, I should probably grab that sheep. Uh, it's a little dangerous to do this camel archer play versus the roost because they're a very turtly uh, civilization. They really don't need to come out onto the map like this gold. You, you'll rarely see uh, Rus opponents do this, mostly because they get enough gold from either their Golden Gate landmark or from just hunting uh, animals in general. Okay, there's the Camel Archer, and there's the Archer that's being produced, and on the back of this we'll get our uh, second town center. So we've started mining stone. So let's see what we can do. We've identified our target. It's going to be this gold mine. The wood, likely there's likely a wooden fortress here, and this town center is also very dangerous. So this is pretty much our only option. We're going to focus on the villagers mining at this gold vein. So here we come. I'm moving extra close so he doesn't get the attack notification until I'm already on top of his units. And that's just enough damage to pick off one of his villagers. Now we're going to back off. We're gonna see what his response will be. Okay, he really wants this gold. He's gonna put down a wooden fortress here. And he does have an archery range. That's the correct choice here. So we can only really do so much more here. We're gonna do just a little bit more back and forth, but I don't like where this is going. He's just making more archers and lots of archers are the counter to these, this early camel archer harassment. That said, we're getting our second town center down. We're going to gather up these berries once we get that done. Here we are. We're looking to get another villager here, but he's just too on top of uh, retreating his units. And my scout almost dies. Camel archer's getting hurt. We're just going to back off. But we got some good information. A second archery range is going down, so I'd love to see myself get a uh, stables and maybe another archery range. The stables for sure. Looks like I finished off the berries that were initially near my base. So we'll just send these villagers off to these sheep. 
we can continue to gather here. 15 villagers on food looking good. That means we should just rally the rest to uh, wood. We're going to stay aggressive with our military production here. No reason to uh, sit back and relax. Sure, we got one villager kill, but that was about it. And we saw the two uh, archery ranges coming down. So we really want to get this stable up, get one or two horsemen, and then keep scouting. And I've parked my scouts near the boars because Ruse players love to hunt these boar. After looking at his base, he's built one, two wooden fortresses. That's good. Th these are expensive structures, so he had to spend a lot on these. Just this this wooden fortress, I think he should have canceled this one after I backed my units off. He could have gotten 175 wood back, and that's wood that you can use on other things. I mean, you could sell that at the uh, Golden Gate for a quick 100, uh, 100 gold. There's all sorts of things you could do with it, but instead, I think he actually completed this because he was worried about more harassment at his gold. So he's really turtled up. That said, I spot his archer ball hanging across the map. Maybe he thought that I would let up on my military production, but I'm just gonna hide my cam archer, and that delayed his attack. That's the, that's the important thing. Now we know it's coming, and we're just gonna keep producing. Yeah, definitely going heavy on horsemen. We need those units. Oh, and here come his archers. Probably gonna snipe down this villager here. Yep. We need to back some of these villagers off. Okay, good. We get his scout that was on the other side. And now we're gonna chase down his archer ball. This is great because these uh, horsemen have the speed to keep on top of these archers. So he cannot retreat this army. If he tries to, they're just gonna get chased down. So we're trading, getting really good hits with these horsemen. They have all that ranged armor and they do bonus damage against archers. Awesome. Big win there. I mean, I don't think we lost any units there. He probably should have targeted, he, he probably should have target fired my camel archer and maybe a few of my uh, archers, but he didn't. I like to park this camel archer or really like a horseman near the backside of their uh, wood line. You never know what's gonna happen once they chop through. You might just get a few villager kills if they're not paying attention. We spotted another archer range. This is four archer ranges. This is exactly what I was talking about. Roost players just make archers. I'm going to look around my base to see if there's any scouts around here. But I've stayed focused on wood. And we've gotten our blacksmith. I'd love to see myself get the ranged armor, but I think instead I get ranged damage. I know his unit composition, so it would have been really smart to get the iron undermesh. That's really the upgrade to get. I think at this point I'm saying we held really well there. Let's continue with our military production, but let's start rallying villagers to gold and food to make a nice slow transition up to uh, the castle age. And I set my scouts on a bit of a patrol route. I want to make sure if I can uh, spot when his army is coming through. Oh no, never mind. I actually just park it in the stealth forest. Love the positioning there. Yeah, it's a huge, huge uh, uh, information gain right here. We spot six archers coming across the map. I don't realize it, but he's actually already built a ram over here. I need to move these villagers and start engaging with his uh, units. Fortunately, these military units distract him so he doesn't get any villager kills. And down here, we're cleaning up his uh, army that was en route. So we'll double back. I'm not too worried about this battering ram. And now all I really need to do is keep my villagers away from this archer ball. So I send the, arch the uh, villagers that were on the wood line over here to this new wood line. Villagers that were gathering sheep have hidden back and taken shelter in the town center. The gold villagers I've just pulled away. I'll rally them back in a few. Even these villagers, I'm probably gonna pull away and then they'll just return back to work. And the battering ram was left on its own, so it's just gonna die to my uh, horsemen. They do bonus damage to uh, siege. So now we're trading with his archers. He's gotten the plus one attack, just like us. 
Makes sense, he's just going pure archers. And now I've nearly made it to uh, the castle age. I just need to get some more gold. My opponent doesn't appear to be going castle age at all. Pretty much just remaking their army. I'm going to try and scout that with my scout coming forward. We see it. Oh, wow. He even spots my uh, army gain aggressive. But I'm going to hide in this stealth forest. If I can get my army in there before he sees it, this would be great. So he has no idea about this army. He has no scout there. If I can keep my units controlled, then we can just jump on top of his army here. Right there. Look at that. We come out of nowhere and just jump his archers. I'll send my spearmen, who just can't really do anything, to uh, attack the ram. Oh, I thought that'd be good, but it looks like he had an archer held back here. Pretty smart. We take out all the archers, and the battering ram is not going to make it to my base. These spearmen are just doing too good of a job. I'm going to send this group over to the side, hoping that they can harass his wood line here, since it's so exposed now. And I'm going to send the rest of my units to the front of his base. Maybe threaten him with a ram push. But then he just sends more archers forward. So I'm, I'm happy to just have this archer war. Okay, there's the plus one ranged armor. That's great. But yeah, if we're trading here, maybe he won't notice my units attacking over here find a few of his archers here. Would love to clean these up and then get to work on his villagers while this battle's still going. Hopefully he's gained multiple attack ping notifications and there we go. Yeah, we're getting a few villagers here. Nice. Just a few archers. Camel archer. They can take out a lot. Don't want to target the blacksmith. Really want to target down these villagers. That was maybe two, three villagers right there. Really need to refocus on these uh, villagers here. His army's probably already en route. There we go. Get some vision, and now I'm just going to target fire a few of these. And I make it to the castle age. So now my opponent is really behind. Yep, even though I'm getting attacked by these units, I'm going to continue to target fire down villagers. This army is not coming home, so they're going to try and get as many villager kills as they can. I mean, that was probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe 10 villagers. And we're still producing units on the backside. First thing we're going to get now that we're in the castle age, we're going to use our field engineering to build a mangonel. Because if he shows up with more archers, this is going to be... I mean, if he has no melee units, then this mangonel will just win outright. We've got our preservation of knowledge. We're going to upgrade our archers since we're producing so many of them. And we're also going to produce knights. I, I decided to put down a few stables because I really want to force my opponent to go into spearmen. And here comes his army. Fortunately, I got the textiles upgrade, so my villagers are a little bit stronger. But look at this, the mangonel. Ooh, doing big work on all these archers. Every shot from this mangonel is so good. Oof. And I'm not scared of this battering ram just attacking my base. And I don't even think we repaired the town center from before the from those earlier attacks. So now I'm feeling super strong. We're just gonna push in. We're finding villagers on the wood line. We can battle with his archers. They're not all that strong. These horsemen are really meant to deal with archers. So these, these little horsemen uh, harassments are really good because his units just don't do enough damage to them. Yeah, we're getting villager and archer kills. Opponent makes it to the castle age, and there's just a battering ram heading across the map. I don't know about that one. Now he's in the castle age, I really need to put some aggression on. I'm going to send a small group of units around kind of a long way. I'm going to try and get them into this stealth forest down here. And then we'll put a distraction at the front of his base. 
start rallying units to the front. Taking care of the batter nam, and it looks like our transition to farms is pretty good. We're house blocked, so we need to get more houses down. But I like how the uh, I like how the farms are looking. Love our economy. 77 villagers still producing more. Just a little house blocked, that's all. Gonna need to move on to a new gold mine, but we could just take this really safe one up here or come out here. And now we've got a mangonel shooting at his villagers. Or should be. But we're gonna send in knights. We've got all sorts of uh, ways of harassing him. Looks like he went for an Abbey of the Trinity to make it to the Third Age, and he's sending out a, a warrior monk already. Don't want this man-at-arms to discover what's going on back here, but it might just be too late. We can at least threaten him up front. If he commits his army back here, then we'll move into his wood line right here. Just kind of position ourselves here with the mangonel. So we'll scare off his archers. Yeah, that's too much for him. We'll just head back. Hopefully he sends those archers elsewhere. Yep. We'll probably use this mangonel to start targeting his crossbowmen. It's a good shot. Great shot from the mangonel, actually. Heck, we could just start target firing the ground over here. I think that's what I might actually do. Just hoping that there's villagers over here. Oh, big hit. That was great. He's coming forward with a warrior monk. We definitely need to target him down. We've got enough units here, probably. Oh, it's looking close. Oh, looks like it was about to go off. Very close. Of course, now we're actually using the ram on the Abbey of the Trinity and making another back here as well. Should probably have these archers building that and these man at arms coming forward. But we're putting down a keep out front, because we can just make that a staging area for siege units. And we're also starting to play the religious game, so we're taking this sacred site. And I think that's about it for my opponent. Good game, classic Roos build, just all those archers, but I think he needed to, div to diversify his army a little sooner. That, and we just had really good counters for when he showed up at my base with uh, battering rams. Anyway, hope you can make it for the next game. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.